Hey guys, welcome back to the shop build out. I'm doing something I've always dreamed of having the space to do. I've got a huge organizer cabinet wall here for all kinds of fasteners and supplies. This is something I think every shop needs. So here we are in my old shop and basically I just had to cram fasteners everywhere that I could. I didn't really have a streamlined organizational system. This cabinet was a game changer, being able to have small fasteners up here. I'm really glad I did that. But my larger stuff, I basically just had to throw down in these rollout things and there was no bins or organization system. I had a lot of containers for my large stuff under my miter saw station. I've already moved that over to the new shop, but I'm really trying to get a better system than what I had before. So what I've been working on is this large storage room. I've got an awesome space here to get really organized and create good systems around my fasteners and my inventory that we use for trimming out houses and also to create a good inventory of just random stuff that we often need as we do different types of projects. So one of the greatest inefficiencies and time wasters that we can have in business is running back and forth to the hardware store to get fasteners or supplies. It, you're actually way money ahead if you can keep an inventory yourself to restock your van, to have on hand in the shop, and then just be ordering online as you need to restock or just bulk purchasing a lot of stuff at once uh, whenever your inventory gets low. So that's kind of the idea of what I was wanting to do here. In my previous shop, I had a cabinet that was about this size with fasteners, um, nuts, bolts, all kinds of stuff that I outfitted it with. And that was so handy as I did different projects. If I needed a quarter 20 nut, I had it right there. If I needed a 5 16 by one inch carriage bolt, I had it right there. And it saves a ton of time. So I took it to a whole other level with this new build here. I had a vision of what I wanted in my head and I'm really happy with how it's turning out. I started out by drawing this cabinet in SketchUp. I used pre-finished plywood and I actually even edge banded the front of it. The pre-finished plywood makes it really nice to clean in the future and it just gives it a really good look as well. As you can see, everything is very tight fitting around here. I designed the cabinet build around these specific dimensions of these organizers. The reason I went with these was simply because I already have them in my existing shop. I know how they work. I was decently pleased with them. So I decided to just stick with the same company, buy the same thing, and then also have the advantage of these bins being interchangeable with what I already have as well. They're pretty cost effective. But they're definitely not the most high-end organizers out there, um, but they do the job just fine. Originally, when I started building this cabinet, I had a different location in mind in the shop for it. I was actually gonna put it out in the shop space over here, kind of tucked in the corner by the stairs. Then I realized I actually wanted this to be in the storage room near all my other fasteners. I was originally going to put doors on this and then have little shelves inside the doors that would hold things as well. Ended up calling an audible on that design and uh, I wanted to have, I decided I want it like this. I want it to be open. Initially, I was going to put doors on this because I didn't want the dust from the wood shop to get all over everything. But being in the storage room, it's going to have a closed door. I think it'll be just fine. So initially, I made the cabinet deeper because I was going to have doors on it with those shelves on the insides of the doors. But uh, I'm just going to end up pulling these forward and it'll be just fine. It is really hard to find the perfect solution and the perfect size for everything, but I think these organizers um, just have a nice variety. Basically, I've got a two bin system here. I've got a larger bin and then these smaller bins as well. With these larger bins, you can put a divider in here down the center and on the smaller bins, you can also put a divider across there as well. The thing I like about these 
is with the larger bins, I can put a lot of larger stuff, heavy stuff in here. This is half inch washers and it holds the weight just fine. A lot of times when I'm working on something, uh, you know how it is, you need your bolt, your nut, and your washers of some kind. So if I'm doing something and I want some 632 by inch and a quarter bolts, I can grab those. I've got my nuts right here, I'll grab those. And then I've also got lock nuts right here. So I can just grab these bins and go right to where I'm working and I've got everything that I need. When I'm done, I just come back, put everything back where it goes. And it's just a nice organized system. It's much better than going to the hardware store and buying boxes and just having boxes stacked randomly everywhere. This is really key. Everything is in order. So like here, I've got my 632 uh, little machine bolts here. And it goes from half inch, three quarter, one inch, inch and a quarter, inch and a half, two inch, so on and so forth. So I've got a row of 632, 832, 1024, and quarter 20. So all the sizes I need, and they're nice and organized, so it's easy to find stuff. So in just a minute, I'm gonna show you how I go about stocking all of this with the different fasteners I need um, for a very affordable, reasonable price, and also how to get just the right amount of fasteners so that you can fill these bins up and get exactly what you need. So stay tuned for that. These organizers are available on Amazon. I'll drop links in the bio. If you wanna support the channel, purchasing through my affiliate links does help me out. One other note, with building this cabinet, I used three quarter inch plywood and I tried to design it in a way that would distribute the weight onto these shelves. I didn't wanna stack a whole bunch of these units on top of each other and have them resting on one shelf. I wanted to break up the weight. Then I fastened it really well through the sides and on the back, I also used three quarter inch plywood as my backer and then fastened that into the back side of these shelves as well. So they're well supported across the back and that should help resist any bowing over time from the weight of these fashion fasteners. Also with this much weight on a cabinet, I fastened it really well to the wall so that it's never gonna come off the wall so we don't have any kind of a dangerous situation there. So we've talked about our small inventory items. What about our larger bulk inventory items? That's what I'm working on over here. I've been using uh, these Acro Mills bins for a long time. I had these in the old shop. They work really well. They're stackable. Uh, you can put dividers in them and you can get just about any size that you want. Over here, I took it to a whole other level. I got some really large ones for my most commonly used fasteners. So why use storage bins that are this large for screws? Well, I've been using this size for a long time. And these work great if you buy bulk screws like I do, they come in a box about this size. You can usually get most of it into one of these crates, but I wanted to be able to reorder more and still have plenty of space to put a whole additional box inside if I've already got it part way filled up. Um, just, I wanted to have a lot of space. So I went with these large bins for my most common fasteners that we use on the job site. And it's working out really well. One really important tip that I can give you is, if at all possible, buy your commonly used fasteners in bulk. You will save a ton of money, especially on these GRK fasteners, which I use a lot of. If you just go to the box store and purchase these small boxes of the fasteners, you're often paying double the price, if not more, uh, than you would if you buy a large bulk box and keep it in stock. So keep that in mind. All of my most common fasteners that I use a lot of, I buy in bulk boxes like this and I've created a bin over here for those to go in. In my old shop, I would just buy these boxes and I had them stacked underneath my miter saw. And after I'd finish trimming a house, I would pull all these boxes out, restock my van, put the boxes back in. Not a great system. You couldn't really tell how much you had in the box. So these bins over here are gonna be great. 
Just giving you a peek here of what I've got started. My cabinet screws, inch and a half, two and a half, three and an eighth. These are my commonly used sizes. As you can see here, I'm a little low here. It's nice because I can visually see that and see that I need to order another box. I also use a lot of GRK R4 screws, um, which we can fill up right here. We got our pocket hole screws over here, drywall screws, fine and coarse. So it's gonna be a great system. I'm super excited to get this all set up and start using it. Now all these bins and organizers are great, but they're nothing if they're not labeled really well. Um, you can use a Sharpie and write on everything. That's great. Uh, I'm a little bit OCD, so I like to think, have things a little bit more concise and crisp than that. So I'm gonna talk, talk label makers next. You'll notice I've got a couple different kinds of labels here. I've got large labels over here. And then if we go over to my fastener bin over here, we've got some much smaller labels over here. So I'm using two different kinds of label printers. Uh, this one here I love, I've had for years. I actually own two of them, one for at home and one in the shop. This does my small labels. And then I've got this guy right here that prints these large labels off. So this here is a Brother P-Touch label maker. Um, it uses a uh, tape canister that goes in the back here. It runs off of six AAA batteries. Works really well. Um, turn it on. And as you can see here, I've already got a label put in. You can change your fonts and do kinds of all kinds of stuff like that. When you're ready, you just hit print and it prints out the side here. And when you're done, you just click this little guy right here, pops off of there, and then it is a sticky back. So you'll peel the back off of both sides and you can stick that on whatever you want. So these work incredibly well. Next up for my large labels, we've got this guy here. This thing is super handy because it can use a variety of different size of labels. They come in rolls like so. It's very easy <clears throat> to insert the roll into the machine, get it ready to go, flip that down. The nice thing about this is it comes with an app and it's ran by Bluetooth. So you're gonna just connect it to your phone and then you can print labels from your phone so you can do all kinds of formatting and stuff like that. It's really, really handy. This has also got a rechargeable battery, it uses a micro USB port, which is nice. You don't have to worry about batteries going bad in it. So I'm just holding down the power button there and then I'm gonna open the app on my phone to get it connected. So that just took a few seconds to connect the printer to my phone. It also saves your previous templates. So I just pulled up a previous template that I was using. As you can see, it says drywall screws, two inch. You can format the text size. You can add barcodes, QR codes, all kinds of stuff. So I like it. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna hit print label, print now. And there it goes. It's just gonna crank that thing right out. Tear it off. Here we go. Drywall screws, two inch. Peel it right off and stick it wherever you want. So very handy little thing. Both of these, again, you want to support the channel. I'll put affiliate links in the video description where you can purchase these. Both have been great investments for me. The last tip that I've got for you guys will save you a lot of money. Now, if you want to outfit an organizer wall like this, it's it can cost you a lot of money if you don't purchase these fash fasteners intelligently. So like right here, I've got a bin full of half inch nuts. Uh, we've got tons of washers, stuff like that. Over here, we've got wing nuts, all kinds of stuff. Now I purchased this stuff by the pound really cheap. If you go to your local farm store, they're gonna have bulk bins of this stuff where you can just pull out what you want and then you pay for it by the pound. It's gonna cost you about $2.60 a pound, I think. So you can get this stuff very affordable. 
If you're going to the big box store and you're buying it in prepackaged boxes, they charge way more for it. So what I do is I take one of my large bins and I take a small bin into the farm supply store. I go to their bulk fasteners and I will basically just fill up the container to the brim with whatever fastener I want. So for example, um, I went, I got some 3 16 washers here. I fill this up full and then I take a bag, I label it 3 16 fender washers, one inch. And then I take the contents of this, I dump it into the bag, I move on to the next thing. And you can have a cart with 50 different bags in it and buy 50 pounds worth of fasteners for a very reasonable price compared to if you would go and try to buy these in prepackaged boxes. So go to your farm supply store or somewhere that has fasteners in bulk and you'll be able to stock up for way less money. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I'm headed back to the farm supply store to purchase more fasteners, try and get this done. I've got a million projects to do. I feel like my head's just spinning with all the different direction I can go, but I wanna get this knocked out and then move on to the next thing. Thanks for watching. Drop a comment, let me know what you think, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.